Today we're going to take a look at the Titan replacement solenoid valve for Titan brake actuators with reverse lockout. Now this backup solenoid valve will install at the back of your actuator into the brake line connection and wires into your tow vehicle so that the trailer brakes do not activate when you shift your tow vehicle into reverse. Now to use this feature you must have a five pole flat, six way round or seven pole wiring harness on your vehicle. Now it is designed for use with the Titan Model 6, the Model 60, the Aero 7500 and newer Model 10 and Model 20 actuators. Now on the 2000 and older Model 10 actuators an adapter might be needed and we do sell that separately because the threads are different. It's part number T4750200 and it is listed on our website as a related product. Now this solenoid will also fit the Dyco Model 10 20 and 60 actuators. Now the pressure rating on this is 800 PSI. The orifice size inside the solenoid is 1 seconds of an inch. Give you a few sizes on the wrenches you might want to use. When you connect this to the actuator, the large size it uses a 15 16 or 24 millimeter size wrench. And when you connect your brake line to the smaller size brass fitting, it's either 9 16 or 14 millimeter size wrench. Now the solenoid does, if you notice, has two black wires. Now they will need to be connected. One will be grounded, the other will connect to the reverse light circuit, and they're both black wires, so either wire will work for either function. So what I want to show you here is we happen to have a Model 60 actuator. Just show you the back of it, and that's how it'll come when it doesn't have the solenoid valve. So what you want to do, this is where your brake line will connect. Go ahead and pull that plug out. Then what you want to do is remove the nipple that's already in there. Use a 12 millimeter wrench and you can just unscrew the complete nipple out of the back of it. And then you'll take your solenoid and take this in and put it right in there and then just tighten that up. And then using a wrench on the large size, like I say, either a 15, 16 or 24 millimeters, tighten that up. And then run your brake line right into here. And the wrench for this size again is the 9, 16 or 14 millimeter. And that's how you would install it. And then you have your two wires that you just have to connect. Now, one other thing I also would recommend to purchase, you can see there's a cover right here, but because you've added the solenoid and it's sticking out, you don't want anybody stepping on it or breaking it off. What I would recommend is remove this part and then purchase this extra piece. This is the solenoid cover. It's designed to protect this. You would remove this one, bolt this in its place, and you can see with that it'll protect anything from damaging that solenoid. Go ahead and remove it. But that should do it for the review on the Titan replacement solenoid valve for Titan brake actuators with reverse lockouts. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.